Alright everybody, staying true to my normal self, I'm not going by a recipe today, I just uh, grabbed a handful of different grains out of my little stash right there, and uh, this is what I picked, I don't know how much I'm going to use of each yet, uh, I'm going to use a little carahel, a little biscuit malt, a little brown malt, probably a lot of brown malt, a little bit of crystal 120. Uh, this is just a collection of uh, black patent chocolate roasted barley. I'll probably use all the chocolate in there, which is probably about two pounds. I've um, got about a pound of flaked wheat. I'll use that. All of that. And a little bit of wheat malt. Just a little bit. I'll just use a little bit of that. And a little bit of black patent. It's kind of old, looking to get rid of it. Uh, thin coat, the only hops I have. So, it's going to have to be thin coat. This is what I mash in. It's just a bucket with a stainless steel braid in it. Made quite a bit of beer in this thing, never been disappointed. I bet I've got 15 bucks in it, maybe. I can mash 20 pounds in that pretty easy. Got to mention the main ingredient. I'll probably go 10 or 12 pounds of American two row. Alright, that's what I ended up with um, 10 pounds of pale two row, 2 pounds of brown malt, 1.1 pounds of chocolate malt, 1 pound of biscuit malt, 3 quarter pound of uh, flaked wheat, that's all I had left, half a pound of black barley, which is roasted barley basically. Um, a half a pound of Carahel, half a pound of Crystal 120, half a pound of wheat malt, and I'm going to use an ounce of Simcoe for 90 minutes, put me at 41, somewhere around 41 and a half IBUs. Um, my efficiency is only 65%. Um, some will come in about a point high on my gravity for a stout, but I don't really care. I'm not brewing for competition. This is just for me to drink, and that right there is good enough to eat. Um, after I grind it, I will throw a couple handfuls of rice hulls in there. Alright, here's my grinder. Don't have hardly any room left in my garage. I'm going to take a t-shirt. Hang over here. Right in the neck hole. And it's going to direct my grain right down into my bucket. Alright, next I take my recycle bin and a nice down blanket that shouldn't probably be used for brewing, but I've already done it, so it's mine. I'll set it over the top like that. Make damn sure your spigot's turned off. And it is. I'll just set that down in there. Now I'll heat up my water. Probably go about 15 degrees over because that's about what I normally lose. I'll dump it in there. I'll stir it up. And then we'll cover it all up. Let it sit firm. Here's my kettle. See all the scars and the boil overs, but um, it's nothing but a cheap aluminum turkey fryer that I added a spigot and a thermometer to. You don't need them. Buy just fine without it. I did for a long time. Um, it's four and a half gallons of water. I usually go a quart of water to a pound of grain. Ended up with 16.85 pounds of grain, so 4.2 gallons of water. I'm gonna go four and a half. 
nothing exact about brewing beer. Uh, shoot for a mash temperature of 152, so I'll heat it up to 168, 170, and uncover that, dump it in there. During that hour, I'll have to run to the store and get some more propane because I don't even know if this is going to last long enough to do what I'm doing. Alright, youngins. We had 170. Too low, I'll just throw maybe a half a gallon of some boiling water in here, maybe a little less than boiling. Bring it right on up. If it comes in too high, I'll just stir the shit out of it. That'll drop it pretty quick. It's one of the reasons why I'm not really stirring like crazy now. Because I don't want to drop it, I don't want to crash it too much. Careful not to kink your hose down there. about how thick it is. Take my thermometer, drop it in there. And that's us for an hour. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. I just checked it, sitting dead on 150. Um, it'll continue to rise 
probably 152, 153. Everything's perfect. And time to go get some. Half hour later, back with brand new shit. 152 on the nose. I'm good. I'm damn good. Y'all suck. Well, not really. Y'all, y'all only kind of suck. All right, got about 20 minutes to go. It'll be an hour for the mash over there. It's probably gonna go a little over because I forgot what I was doing. I forgot to heat up the sparge water. This is about I don't know some certain amount of water. Not sure. Don't really care. Uh, I just want to know that I have plenty of it. Put it in that thing right there. It's gonna go to 180 degrees. And the reason I go so high is because I lose quite a bit as I drain it in to the cooler. So time I actually start putting it on the grain, I'll probably be in the mid 70s, which is fine with me. All right, about 175, <clears throat> about 180. I'm gonna dump it in there. We got this little thing. It's only the third batch I've done with this. Usually do it by hand or batch sparge occasionally. Alright, it's been an hour and a half. Let's see where it's at. 150. Two degrees off exactly what I wanted, but I'm pretty much positive we will have. Alright, pumps are nice, but today we're going to make gravity our bitch. Look at that. That's some black farm bitch. Actually, I might be running off a little fast. All right, that's where I like it. You can see, pretty slow here too, but I'll watch that level. Try to hold about an inch above. I'll go to about seven gallons here and start boiling it. Man, it smells like straight coffee. Alright, got about seven gallons here. See that stuff's pretty black. Not quite as black as it will be when I get it down to about five and a half gallons. I usually use a refractometer. I got cheap on eBay. 15 bucks, kind of a piece of crap, but it still works. Take me some crushed ice, set that right there, and I'll come, I'll either you know, just scoop a little bit and put it in the bowl, or depending if I'm not boiling yet, I'll just suck it right out of there, cool it off a second, and check it. I don't know if that matters or not, but that's how I do it. around 170. See I'm starting to get some brake material coming out. I want to be real careful. That close to the edge. Thing will be in the floor before you know it. That's where all that shit come from. Got a nice easy boil going on here. I'm going to go ahead and put in our ounce of Semco plugs. Gonna boil that for an hour and a half. Now, this is going. Go in there and clean out that keg right there. Kegged a little bit of brood last weekend. Pitched this right on the keg. Got nothing but time for a while, so I'll show you how I clean my kegs. Drop cloth, necessary. Some of this magical shit right here. And you can see. That way I don't forget. And everybody. 30 minutes. 
hottest water I can get out of the tap. Take this every so often. Run a little bit through the line. And uh, that'd be it. Going in that bucket right here. That's like a porter or I don't really know what to call it. The second run is from that right there. It's a big ass barley wine. And it's slowing down a little. Still gurgling. Don't know if you can hear it. I know I hear my loud ass wife upstairs. Check in on the ball. It's uh we're about getting up on a half hour into it. See I like to keep a real easy boil. That way I don't have to sit and watch it. <clears throat> Might not get some of the nice colors you get from really boiling the crap out of it, but this is how I do it. Looks pretty damn nasty right there. Got about 15 minutes to go. Just dropped my chiller in there. It's not even hooked up yet. Uh, or plot tablet. A lot of people use a quarter. I throw the whole thing in there. Screw it. Alright, it's time to start cooling. It's just a little $7 pump from Harbor Freight, I think. Harbor Freight. $7 submersible pump. A little bit of tubing. These are ice. Keep these in the freezer all the time. And I'll let this run for about 10 or 15 minutes until the water gets hot. And I'll dump the water out, put new water in there. By the time that gets hot, this will be cool enough to pitch. So I'll go ahead and shut it off. And start crashing it. All right, about 88 degrees. Time to go in here and give you a quick look at the cake from the last batch. See, it's not a lot, it's just enough. Uh, spigot and everything's been sanitized, star sand, the hose has been stuck, soaking in star sand. So, time to Almost five hours to the minute later, and it's in there. Pitching on that cake, saying that there's going to be bubbling within the hour. Hasn't even been an hour. 30 minutes. 